Oh look, Jen on the move is near water. Oh look, Jen on the move has coffee. We need to talk. YouTube right now is breaking me and I've got to make some changes to not make it break me. I don't want it to be broken anymore. From the start, I just want to make it clear. I love making YouTube videos. I am not naturally a creative person. The fact I can go out there, I can take my camera, I can say some stuff at it, I can point it at things, sometimes very, very shakily, put it together in this mush of clips to bring out this 10 minute thing of this subset of my life and then people watch it, that's amazing. It's a nice creative outlet for a non-creative person. But when that creative outlet becomes a chore, we have ourselves a problem. When that creative outlet starts literally fatiguing me, when it starts giving me anxiety attacks, I've really got to change this up a bit. Right now, making these videos is taking up a very, very, very significant portion of my life. As well as doing this, I do have another part-time job. I'm not quite at the size yet where I can do YouTube full-time. So between that job and YouTube, I have no hours left in a week for me to just spend some time existing. And you may or may not know that the Glamorous Assistant, that's my partner. I love her very much and I am not giving her the time that she deserves. That's not how you should exist in a relationship. I cannot put YouTube above her and I cannot put YouTube above my mental health. The amount of time that's going into it means I don't have time to look after myself, let alone another person. I'm stressing a lot ahead of going out and filming. When I'm going away, I put a lot of planning into a trip. I, I'm not word for word scripted, but the amount of details that I've planned things out, I might as well be. That's taken the fun out of it. That means when I leave the house to, to go out and film, I will never ever feel as prepared as I need to be because I'm just not the kind of person that will feel prepared. I said in a community post last week that I'm thinking about throwing in the towel. I'm not going to throw in the towel. There's a lot of things I've done in my life where I've just given up first sign it gets hard. I don't want this to be another thing where I've just given up. That's a long list and YouTube is not gonna be on that. I am gonna carry on with this. I'm gonna stick with it. Because when it's good, I really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. So I kind of hope with some tweaks on how I do this, I can just make this channel sustainable for me. When I put that post out, there were so many people that just were sending love and they were lovely comments. And a lot of people were saying, just take a break. And yeah, I could, quite easily take a break for a few months, come back, be refreshed, but exactly the same thing will happen again a few months after that. I have two speeds, a million miles an hour or zero, and I can't find that point in between. So I'm gonna have to find it in me a way of finding that middle ground. I'm gonna stop planning videos. That's the most stressful part for me. I'm gonna go out, pick up my camera, we're gonna visit some stations, make it up as we go along on the fly, and you're coming with me on my journey to visit every single station, not a pre-planned scripted, here's a load of stations and things I found out about them in advance. I think this, I think the way that I want to go back to, and I say go back to because this is how I used to do it. I think this is going to make better videos, to be honest. It might mean that like before I was trying to give each station like a significant amount of time on camera. If a station is boring or I just can't find anything about it, you might even montage through it. You can kind of, possibly expect a lot of montages in London because having spent a day in London like a couple of days ago pretty much every London station is exactly the same and there's nothing interesting about them. Knocking out these London stations is really a mental struggle. I, when I'm visiting every station there are going to be some times that I really struggle through because there's a lot of stations out there that are just the same and a lot of those are going to be in that London. So I'll give the camera time to the interesting stations and when interesting things happen. I had a seven minute change at Seven Oaks and I kept holding the Seven Oaks train at Orpington to let all these fast trains through. It's now going to be a two minute change. I've never been to Seven Oaks. Mm, I think this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Everybody will be cheering with joy. Now I get the impression they don't have joy around here. I was looking forward to my bed tonight. <sighs> Jen doesn't run. Jen might have to run. Then maybe in like eight, nine, ten years, I will have finished the project to visit every station. And we'll just enjoy our moments in the countryside together. I'll find myself some water and say mushy stuff next to it. Surprisingly, there's not many people on this beach. 
That is a very, very rough sea and my hair is very much doing hair things. This isn't the weather I had in my head for this. Oh well, we deal with the cards that we're dealt. After the days I had yesterday, this is brilliant. I've had a much better day today and I really needed this. <sighs> I'm looking forward to this new era. I think it's going to be a lot more sustainable and I'm going to have a lot more chance of actually completing it. I've never really actually talked much about visiting every station and like why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. I'm not the first person to visit every station. I won't be the last person to visit every station. And there'll be more people that will finish visiting every station before me. And that's fine. I'm doing it to go on an adventure. I'm doing it to see places that I wouldn't ordinarily see. I would have no reason normally to go to Hyde Central, yet I went to Hyde Central. I'm giving Hyde Central the award for the dullest railway station I've ever been to. There is nothing interesting here at all. I didn't like it. Glen Conway. I have no reason to go to Glen Conway. I am glad I went to Glen Conway. This is a very happy gem. Come to Wales, do all of the things. It's bloody amazing. And definitely come to Glen Conway. Look at the view. Go for breakfast. I am in such a happy place. And I'm really excited about all of the places I haven't yet visited. And I'm going to get to visit them because I've got a reason to. That's all I'm doing. I'm having an adventure. I'm not racing anyone, not trying to be quick, not trying to be better than anyone. I'm going out to enjoy myself and see new places. I think I worked out at my current pace in like eight, nine, ten-ish years to complete this project. And I'm fine with that. I don't know what I'll do after that. I'm sure there'll be many more things that I could do. I might feel like the channel's come to its natural conclusion. But we're about a decade away from that point, so let's not even think about that yet. The future's bright, and hopefully the future will contain no mental breakdowns. In each video I bring out the phrase, scrolling on screen right now on my lovely Patreons, and they are actually scrolling on the screen right now. And it's really hard when you're doing that in every video to really make a heartfelt thank you. But it really is heartfelt. It's a group of people that have seen what I create and been like, you know what, I like this person. I want to give them money to do what they do. And for me, YouTube is self-funding, so ad revenue, um, money from Patreon, that is funding what I'm doing. And at the moment, every penny of that is going back into making videos, and I would have had to have given up a long time ago. If that wasn't happening, I wouldn't have been able to actually afford to continue doing it. And yeah, this amazing group of people are literally making this possible. And I am so, so thankful. So I'm going to say it. If you want to get your name onto the list, they're scrolling right now. The links to do so are in the description but my thanks is really, really heartfelt. We have a great laugh in our Discord. They get to see me when I'm having the good times. They get to hear me having the rants when I'm not having the good times. They're a really supportive group of people and they do keep me going. Thank you guys. So yeah, deep and meaningful, mushy stuff. Things are gonna change. The channel's gonna be more about me and my journey, but there are some things that are not gonna change. And that is me leaving a link just here to the next video I think you should watch. And until next time, bye-bye.